If it's time to replace your trusty iPhone and you're not bothered about fancy top spec features, you're probably looking for a handset that packs in value. And after using the iPhone SE for close to a year, I can say confidently, it's a solid alternative to getting a pricier iPhone 13 or 14. The iPhone SE sticks with the classic iPhone design that's identical to the second generation and truthfully resembles an iPhone 8. It's a glass front and back with aluminum sides. The 4.7 inch Retina HD display is surrounded by bezels with a home button below the screen for easy unlocking through Touch ID. Like on the second gen, the home button is an electric one powered by a haptic motor. So when the phone is dead or off, the button won't click in. The iPhone SE is comfortable to hold and can be easily used with just one finger. That's refreshing and can't be said about the iPhone 14 Pro Max. And holding it next to an iPhone 14 makes it seem downright miniature. The back glass is upgraded here for added durability. Apple says it's the same glass found on the iPhone 13 and that it should help prevent it from cracks and scratches. The SE is IP67 rated against water and dust resistance, and it survived a full dunk into a glass of water. Apple didn't opt to add MadSafe wireless charging support here. This proprietary charging tech debuted it on the iPhone 12, but ensures proper alignment with compatible wireless chargers, thanks to magnets. While we get that Apple is using a similar design style and likely the same parts, it would have been nice to see this added in for more of a wireless charging option. As far as the display, it has a 4.7 inch screen, which is unchanged from the previous model, and that's not really a bad thing. It still has the classic LCD display, so it won't offer the same vibrant colors and deep contrast points as an OLED in an iPhone 14 or even the newest Pixel. Still, though it's been great for navigating iOS, watching TikToks, typing on the fly, and watching shows. And of course, the camera has a 12 megapixel lens on the back, and that's unchanged from the second gen. With Apple's A15 Bionic chip inside, this lens works with a new image signal processor that speeds up shooting photos or recording videos and adds in new processing modes, smart HDR4 and deep fusion. Both aren't necessarily evident, but lead in clearer images and let the SE better identify what you're trying to capture in a shot. All of this works to make this 12 megapixel a sharpshooter. But the bottom line is that this phone is still definitely worth buying and a great entry-level iPhone for anyone on a budget. Next, we'd like to run some video and gaming on it so you can see it in action. If you'd like to learn more about the detailed specs for this iPhone, we'll have some links directly below in the description. For now, let's run it. First platoon, we've lost the square, we can't hold it! 